The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC Bola Tinubu, on Monday insisted that his birth, academic, and uh, professional records are consistent, adding that his critics are only wasting their time and money. Tinubu, who is uh, 70 years, stated this during an appearance at the Chatham House in London, the United Kingdom. He spoke on the topic Nigeria's 2023 election, security and economic development, and its foreign policy imperatives. There has been a controversy over the early days of the former governor of Lagos State, but Tinubu said his detractors can request a DNA test to validate that he is indeed a son of the Tinubu family. <laughs> uh, but at the time of birth, I was dated March 29, 1952, and the family record. I didn't think then, that day, I've determined to be, or decided to be a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Not even that I will go to politics. I've had a very good exposure in life. My record is consistent in the school and the university. They question, they now confessed that they wasted their money and their time. <laughs> <laughs> the record is there, the transcript is there. So, in March 1952, I'm not. Claim me another father. I am Tinobu and Tinobu proper. <laughs> if they want a DNA, they call us where? <laughs> Require for one. He also spoke on the 2023 general elections. Recent statutory engagements and argument and Allowing the use of technology, the tools for the accreditation of voters and transmission of results, we deliver the fairest and freest election in our nation's history. This is particularly important because the next president of Nigeria, we have some tough choices to make and will not be able to do so with questionable electoral mandate. Ballot security and election violence are areas where there is cause for concern. There is an emerging trend of attacks against the personnel and infrastructure of the Independent National Electoral Commission in part of the country. At the same time, political conversations on social media have become more laced with violent rhetorics and threats of violence, retaliation against those opposing, perceived as opposing partitions. I stand firmly against all forms of electoral violence an intimidation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.